Hello everyone, welcome back to the show. My name is Tony Smith and today we're going to do the final can I make money selling plants and can I make a profit? So I'll put some, there, there is a playlist if you want to go and watch. There was three in, oh this is the third of this episode and it'll be the final one and it'll be the results one where I show you how much I've made, how much I've spent, is it worth it, is it not? So hopefully it'll give you some ideas and some kind of tips and some hints and what I've learned, the lessons I've learned about trying to make some money selling funky plants. And this plant is the plant or the, the variety that I was selling. This is the Carolina Reaper chili. And I got some seeds and I wanted to just see if with this setup, if I could kind of make some some funds and some and some money to and basically just to kind of help us through the year buying other seeds and you know is it worth it in the long run? I'll tell you. So yes, these are the the, the Carolina Reaper seeds, and I, I started this experiment probably sometime in November, December, early you know late November, early December, and I got these seeds. And there's some lessons I've learned since this, which if I was going to do it again, and actually the big question is, would I do it again? And I'll, I've certainly learned a, a few things. And the first one is, which I could only start from this point of getting the seeds from somewhere else, is I'll buy my own seeds. So this was a case where I had to go and I went to America and I bought a certain, I think I got... 200 seeds and that was me that's all i had was 200 little seeds where if i was doing it again you know hopefully i've got now four main plants of these ones like this i'll collect the seeds and i might do it again next year you know we will see it and wait and see i mean even i've got the results written down in front of us there it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> there's some costings, you know, so what else would I do before I even start? What else would I do to get a better that than just jumping straight in? Well, straight away, like I say, I bought 200 seeds and that's all I had, but my germination practice wasn't, wasn't consistent. And I put them all in this, like I've got a propagator just to the left of this here there, and I put them all in there, but about a third of them I put in a, a different container, a different method, and they didn't germinate at all. So straight away, I'd lost a third of me, me seeds already. And if I'd just been consistent and just did them exactly how the other ones do, how they've germinated in the past, I would have, you know, had way more to kind of to, to play in this game. But straight away, Within two weeks, the germinated, and within two weeks, I'd realised I was down already. Another thing that I've learned is just plan, plan, plan. I kind of jumped in straight away, and I was caught, you know, on the foot and on the back foot, should I say? And if I just planned it a little bit more and just thought about it, maybe have a look at the market. But I didn't. I didn't do any of that. I just sowed the seeds and thought, well, that'll about three weeks now should be ready to kind of at least know what's germinated four weeks and i might be able to kind of sell them and if i just step back and worked a little bit out and it's more of what i did find was the i was once they kind of were up and running then i started to sell them and i shouldn't have done that what i should have done was took orders because this is the one of the the fundamental failures of this little experiment is the don't stay plug plants for long that was me key that's what i found and it was by that time it was too late and i noticed you know other sites or other people were selling them they were taking orders so there was you were selling a plug plant at a certain time at a certain height where i was just selling one at a time two at a time and realizing these plug plants were starting to get bigger and bigger and i couldn't really sell them as plug plants and i had to change halfway through i had to change the kind of strategy and it it kind of knocked us a little bit in me in me methods and me you know and in postage and in kind of distribution and everything like that you know 
What else have I learned? Power issues. This is probably the fundamental issue for me in this little setup. It's too difficult to get prop i mean this is a little i'm in a hut which is you know away from the main house and there's one cable coming in and it's a family hut so we've got other utilities in here and there's just too much power i had a big light as you can see there and that was part of the, the plan was to bring on and bring on it didn't work so that actual light is redundant and i'm probably going to sell that as well anybody wants it you know let us know so power issues has been a real tricky a tricky hurdle for me but that's just an isolated incident for me it's it's one of those things like the the, the hut would trip now i would get a, an, an alarm on my phone or anything but it could be through the night and i was i've been two or three times having to get up two o'clock in the morning to reset the power to make sure the heat because that's one thing the need, the need mothering these the reapers, and I pick Carolina reapers because they are the hottest chili in the world, and it's a, it's more like a kudos, a quirky thing to grow. So from that point of view, selling a Carolina reaper worked, but they need constant looking after and mothering and heat. They need the perfect climate, and as soon as that power goes off, the heat drips. It's it's you've lost it. You know what I mean? Or you, I lost a, a, a couple, should I say? What else have I learned? And in some respect, um, it's it's a hard one. This one is don't don't post out in the middle of what probably the coldest snap in one of UK's history. Do you know what I mean? We even on the coast here it was minus four, minus five. Inland, we were hearing reports of like minus thirteen, and. I'm posting them in a second class postage. They're in a warehouse, a van that's minus, you know, they're not happy, you know, and a couple of them, I'm guessing that, you know, I've got a couple of like comments back or a couple of like emails back saying me, all my leaves have dropped off, you know, so I had to kind of send out more, which I was happy to do, but it was just, and the only thing is though that they've got to go at that time and that would you know you've got to you've got to sow your seeds in december you know early december so you're, you're battling with that anyways so that's something that i kind of learned but i think the biggest thing was to take orders so once they're all ready ship them out because i did find as well timing or my time was precious and my time is very precious like anybody's time it's you know, you're running backwards and forwards to the post office with one, two, you know, if I could have just took one half day and took the whole lot down, that would have been fantastic. So let's get on to the prices and the costings. So first up, and these are just kind of rounded up figures. I'm not going to the exact penny or anything like that. I sold out of, you know, different packages, like a three or a five, you know sending off little like five plants three plants i sold 24 packages of different variety different price structures and that came to a massive 359 pound so before anything's taken off i made 359 pound which for me that's not a businessman i look at that and think oh that's really good that's really good but then then we get into the reality of it and if you stick around the, the last one you'll find you know what i mean prices dip prices dip quite a bit so to get the seeds and the postage was 20 pound 20 uk pound and they came from america and like i say i could certainly cut that back and get probably oodles more seeds just doing it myself if i was going to so taking the 20 pound off that comes to 339 pound next up was and this was a bit of an issue it wasn't so much an issue with the the little plug plants but as you know i got it all wrong that the kind of methodology and i had to start shipping out bigger plants packaging came to 35 pound now this included a couple of rolls of bubble wrap containers cardboard boxes and envelopes and lucky enough i had certain things but certain things i had to buy and had to rebuy because the plants had grown so much so again i could lessons learned i could you know 
of getting away with the packaging and reduce that cost and drastically to be honest if i'm if i'm keen and i've still got lots of packaging now so the 35 takes it down to 304 so my profits from 359 are certainly going down so we get now which is kind of this is where the prices really go up there now is postage so we're at 304 pound and then i've had to kind of add up the postage and what i did learn and you know as someone actually mentioned it is when i was selling them because i sold them on ebay i wanted to do facebook but because of lockdown we just went back into a second lockdown that was out of the question so if you put and i learned this very quickly by someone mentioned it if you put free postage but put your price up yes they sell a lot quicker and they did do you know what i mean at the beginning i had them at a certain price with i think 3.99 postage and they didn't sell but then i put the free postage in and they went up you know but the postage came to 86 pound for for those 24 ones and that was just like second class you know like a second class postage small parcel so that takes my profit from a 304 down to 218 and we are now getting you know it's getting low but there's there's one more big one to come and that was the electricity bill and the electricity bill basically is just as big as the postage and it's something that it's hampered me in this little kind of the experiment purely because it was tripping you know and i've had issues with it everything like that but we use a company called bulb for our utility company and you can see you know it's all laid out nicely kind of user friendly the graphics and the electric bill from october to november and november to december just spiked and i've actually trimmed it down there now because i don't need the actual heat and i'll put it was the the heater under the floor to give this ambient heat that was on all the time i'm i'm putting down the majority of the kind of costings to that but the heating was or the electric was 75 pound so that brings the final total from 359 to 143 pounds so that's the, the costings and like i say i know with the electric yes we're in the middle of winter and the heating and everything like that but the actual our heating is gas you know we've got a combi boiler there and the gas you can see on your charts you know the gas bill hadn't really kicked in there we've got a log burning fire but the electric one just ramped up and yes well the kids have now got like little fan heaters switched on everywhere and but when i started this was when the, the price went up so taking a bit off for for the house consumption the majority of it now is was the 75 so that's 140 three pound is what i've got left in my pocket was it worth it well that money will go to kind of seeds and you know but it'll sh it'll it'll go as quick as anything i certainly could make some savings i certainly you know if i just with the germination getting that right straight away that would have been a, you know i would have had more because everyone sold that's the that was one of the key points everyone sold of this of this experiment and there wasn't one that didn't sell sell so from that point of view i think i could have probably sold a lot more and got me and if i got me into me rhythm you know if anybody wants to do this you know and, and looking at these you know videos they're the little some things plan it out have a posting date for them and yes you will have some plants left that will turn into bigger plants then you can kind of sell them you know that's what i did i was selling two large reapers you know for the same price but it was it certainly kind of stopped us in me tracks and i had to kind of work out a quick way of getting those bigger plants out into into the kind of world via postage and don't post in the middle of a kind of minus three post a tuesday is a good day to post out because you don't want the plants sitting in a warehouse as well over the weekend that's something that i learned so hopefully i can bring them seeds on and get some will i do it next year i honestly don't know there was there was a lot of hard work and a lot of stress and for the bottom line of 143 i might be able to kind of 
get that somewhere else doing so you know just selling a couple of things on ebay i, I don't I honestly don't know we'll see how that goes but that is the kind of my little experiment coming to an end so i did make on top 359 but the bottom line is 143 and i probably could have took that round about 275 if i'd done you know like got my head screwed in and lessons learned i might have come out with about 275 if i've done it correctly but anyways i hope this little this little journey has helped you and if you're all thinking about it you know what i mean please drop us an email i'll put some comments in below you know any ideas you've got that i might i might have missed that would be fantastic and i will see you next time look after yourselves take good care